All right, all right. Hey, it's Sam back with you here. Uh, Wednesday, or pardon me, Thursday, January 11th. Had another member interested in a look at uh, substratum to Bitcoin. So here I've got the uh, one hour chart. Now we, let's go over here and we can check it on CoinGecko. So here we see it, it's a relatively new project. It's only been around five, six months. It's already got 46 on the score here, over 500 million. I'd like to see this number a little higher. The, the, the participation amongst the development community is a bit lacking. But it's a comer. Uh, you know, it's, it's a real project here. You can do a little research on it yourself if you're interested. We can see the majority of the trading, 72.8%, is on Binance. It's almost all traded against Bitcoin. So let's go have a look at the chart, see if there's anything we can see, maybe something we can learn, something we can trade. So when you first bring this up, so here's the 60-minute on Binance, sub to Bitcoin. So when you first look at this, you might go, okay, so what, you know, your eye, the first thing you might look at and say, okay, well, wait a second. All right, so that, that looks like maybe I've got a one, there's a two, there's a three, there's a four, and maybe that's a, that's a big five. So let me, I'm going to change that degree. Let's go and let's put it in white so you can see a little better. So you might look at that and go, okay, well, you know, that works. Here's my one. The four doesn't overlap the one. That, that, that could be, you know, that, that's potentially that plays well if that's the case then then if this is a completed five wave structure well then i'd be i'd be looking for a retracement of the entire count of the entire five wave series on the assumption that that is a one wave so putting that in context scrunching back so this would be you know i've all i've done here is complete my one wave and now i'm, I'm going to put in a two and that that may be the case but i you know i would propose to you that you know that's just kind of the lazy or perhaps the inexperienced elitician's approach to it. We go one, two, three, four. Okay, well, let's maybe let's have a look at the oscillators, see what we can learn there. Okay, so, you know, with this, this if I put this back to scale, this is certainly my biggest wave. So it's potential that I've got an extended fifth there. But look, look at the peak here in the, in the oscillator here. So this is very useful for identifying the third wave and the, ultimately the, the fourth and the fifth as well. But when we're looking for the strongest wave, th that would imply that, you know, is there a way that this, that this can be count, that we can get a count on this where that's the third wave? You know, does that make sense? Now, the other thing that I see here is, you know, it's kind of a matter of, wave tendencies the sharpness of that drop makes me pause for a second and wonder is there another count here that might play is there a way i can get this as my third wave that would be consistent with elliot rule set that would make perhaps some more sense with what i'm seeing with this be, uh, looking to get that to be the third wave does that does that work okay well, so let's i'm gonna take that off and we got let's go back to the beginning and go all the way over here now let me put this in scale so when we look over here you know, you look at this and you say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This, this looks to me, this looks more to me like if I look here. So this is my absolute low. So let me, let me, let me look at this now. So I look here, I go, okay, so this is the low that I'm working from, right? So let's, let, let's do a little digging here. Now, if that's my absolute low after this, so this is correct. So here's the it hits Binance straight, straight down, a little pop, and we ultimately come down here and we settle. This is our lowest low, actually lower than here. So m maybe there's another count here. Well, this certainly has the potential to be a three, four, five. We can get a one, two, three, four. Yeah, we get a little overlap, but we can have a diagonal in the one. So maybe there's another count here that we ought to consider. That would be one, two. This certainly, you know, if you were looking at it at that time, that would make sense. That would be the biggest wave there. We come down. Here's an A, B, down we go for a very deep four. Now, Grant, look, that's very close, very close. But it does not overlap the wave too low. Okay, well, what, what would that mean then? Well, that would imply that, that potentially what I have here is my fifth here. So how, how does that influence the count? Well, if that's a, if that's a, now if I open this up, it maybe, maybe makes more sense. So now I look at that and I go, well, do, does that play as potential? Well, we'll have to, is that a double top? Yeah. Looks like, so we've got, now I would be wicking this off. Okay, well, sure, we overlap. So we've got a diagonal. Does that, does that make sense? Well, this one, two plays. That's the big wave. There's my four, my ABC. And then I get one, two, three, four, five. I get up again. So let me open this up and say, well, wait a minute. If this is one, two, three, four, five of a diagonal, well, then I've got now, I've got an alternate count here with this as a one, two. 
now we got to go three four five and put these over here so does that play so let's now let's look at this so i gotta move these off and so we'll give it some some context here so let's get this way up here and way up here and get all this stuff over right so potentially what i've got here so let's put it in in get some scale on this say okay wait a minute if that's three four maybe what i've got here is one two three four now there's a big five maybe that place so let's look at that so maybe i've got five and then this is my two now that that is a contender there so let's look at that so if i'm going to i'm going to lower the degree so that starts to make more sense so let's go down to this and let's put this first one in blue Okay, does this, does this play? Three, four. So I've got a leading diagonal into my one. Okay, this looks much more like a two to me. You know, I mean, it could, could be either, but that's a very sharp correction, and it's very deep. So I would be pulling, if this is a completed one, now I'm going to pull from my absolute low. Remember, we wicked that off. So come here. If I can get it to highlight. There we go. Okay, so here's my absolute, here's my absolute low. That's the advantage of wicking it off so if i pulled up that is a one what, what do we get here well so i know a two can, you know most likely zone for it is between the 50 and the 618 i come right to the vegas wave so this potentially a b down for the c so maybe what i've got here is a completed one here's my two now i'm going up and i'm putting in the three so let's now get all this into context this would be over here. Now this would become my three, and this would become my four. Wait a second. Now this, so this is an alternate count. Does this, does this make sense? Well, let's look at it. Okay, so we'd have one, two. We, if this is my two, and I go, and I can see, you know, great subdivision here. So I'd be looking. Let's now measure. So let's qualify. So if I, if this is my one, and I'm projecting from this is my two, my high probability zone is right here. We got even through it. We're, so here's 200%. Here's where I'm looking for. You see, we get here, we get a little reaction. So we get right into the pocket reaction, but then we go up and we finish it. So, you know, that, that could play. So that, that certainly starts to make sense for me. So I still get these long fifth waves. But this now, remember, we go back to the oscillator. Now that starts to make more sense to me for this as a one. This is my three, given the peak of the oscillator, and potentially I'm putting in the four. So let's, let's have a look at that, and let's try and qualify that, see if that makes sense. Okay, well, if this is my three, four, and I'm going up for a five, well, then I want to look at a relationship between the two and the four. So I'm going to grab my fib tool. I'm going to pull from the two to the top of my three. And where do we go? Right to the 50. So now this starts to make more sense to me as a one, two, three down here. I got complexity here. Now, this very well could just be the A wave as we see this because it would, it would look to me, it appears to me if I open this up even more, like we, may, we have a five wave structure down here. So this may very well, we might get our, our, the, our triangle pattern that we see so much in crypto where we might have this A and a B and then we come down for a C. Let me put that in yellow and raise the degree so it makes more sense. So that's very p possibly what we're seeing. So we get the rip down. That's the first sell-off right to the 50. Maybe we get, you know, we're pushing up for a fifth. We, you know, we'll look for three-wave subdivision there in the fifth. And then maybe we get our, our little triangle pattern here. So let's put the wave on it so it makes sense. So we may, this is what we're seeing very consistently. We know a fourth between the 50, pardon me, the 38 and the 50, very consistent. So this, this, this move down here looks like it may be more likely the A wave. We come just a, a tick beyond the, a couple of ticks beyond the 50. So here's the, here's the prior support. So you've got some structural uh, support here, prior resistance offering support. We see this very often as the, on the A wave. So if we get a little three wave into the B, right? So the expectation would be now that we'd get something like this. So we get A, B, C, something like that. You know, that, that's what, that, would, that would be what we're idealizing as potentially our corrective B wave. We want to see that so we'd be pulling here from the three to the A low. 
Maybe we've got a B coming in here right at the 618. That would certainly play. And then what happens here remains to be seen. You know, do we get down, do we head down here? That's kind of interesting. So here's our, we get a perfect confluence here. Again, assuming we're up here. Now I'm, I'm hypothetical here. We don't know exactly what we're going to get here. This may, we may not get this subdivision. We may just have to go to, so I'm on a one hour. We might have to squeeze down here. Maybe we don't get that subdivision and we, we just end up with, with an A, an a I don't have to redraw it. We'll have to see. Maybe this is an A, B, and we get that shallow C. We double bottom here on the on the 50. It's just it's a wait and see. But right now, it's too early for me because that looks like an A wave. Given the length of this move here, the length of time, and how uh, the range here, it would surprise me if we didn't get a more complex correction in the fourth. Now, we may not. You know, and it happens all the time. You're waiting for complexity. Market takes off. You miss it. It happens. Right? So from a straight algo, you know, if you're, if you, you know, the, you don't want to apply Elliott wave and you just want to be, you know, well, here, here's my, here's my 50. Here's my target. I'm a buyer at the 50. That's how an algorithm would, would approach it. You know, that's, that software written to buy the 50 and sell it at the negative 23.6 as that first target. But we, you know, we're trying to again, as I will often tell you, we're trying to weave around the algos because we may not have the capital to be a buyer here and put a stop down here. Now I like that risk reward. I mean that's pretty sweet, but it's four to one. You know, can you risk that diff that distance? You know, with, again, may maybe you'd like to put a little more size on, but you can't handle that kind of risk to get on the other side of the 65. And really, maybe you got to get on the other side of the wave one. You know, I mean, but I, I would be right here. So we'll wait and see. That's potentially just putting in a B wave. We'd want to see, you know, some complexity. We, there's a tendency in Elliott wave for there to be what Elliott called the rule of alternation. We get a fairly simple correction here. We might expect a more complex correction here, alternating between the two and the four. But, you know, if you're like, I don't know. Elliott wave, it's too complicated. I don't want to try. Well, here's your trade. You should already be long. You buy in the 50, here's your target. Here's your stop. You got a, you know, approximately a four to one. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So, you, you know, trader's choice. Now, we could certainly put some market geometry on that. I got a good two. Here's my three. Potentially, potentially, I've got three good pivots down there. I like it even more down here. But we'll see. Well, you know, there's the, there, now you get a golden corner pocket. Right, but here it doesn't says that we have to go down that far, and we might. So again, you know, we might do something like A, A. Uh, we put in the B. Maybe we're here. We see it all the time in crypto. We see it all the time where we get that shallow C. Maybe it's down here for a for a double bottom. A, you know, another test of this low before it screams higher. All candidates, all candidates. We have to kind of wait and see. To me, there's it's not ready yet, but it's certainly one I want to watch. Interesting project. So we shall see. So from here to here, so this would be kind of telling if we got right here. So remember, if, if this pivot holds, we've got an 80% probability of getting to the median line. So that would certain that would that be just, you know, gorgeous right there. Right? Then you pull down here, then you would pull this, then you'd pull over here. Yeah. If I can get the corner of it. Then we'd be over here. Now you got another target for the median line. See what I'm doing there is just assuming that that I got this. All right, if I saw this or even this again, it, then you're going to pull down here. We we wait and see how deep the correction is. Now you know. Now you take it down here. This this is why that's even better. So now here we lower the risk, but look at the potential return. All right. So now we go to eight and a half to one. That's why I prefer that. If I can get it, may, may not be offered. May not be offered, but you know that that gets my attention as a trade that I would be very interested in, and I love this here. You know, challenging that one. You know, it just remains to be seen, but that's that's one to definitely keep an eye on, and you know, a few lessons learned there in terms of identifying potentially. You know, so there, I took you basically through two counts. I, it, I would be trading this, and I intend to be looking for that with this as my one. But you know, remains to be seen. Remember, the other alternative was that if if I had if I have it wrong, right? Which you know, I don't. I'm not dogmatic about saying what I'm. What the count that I have is is always right. You know, I'm wrong all the time. That that's trading. So, it, but if this were the fifth, then this would be the absolute low down here. We see we haven't gotten. So we'd be trading if this was the three, four, five. Just taking that off. So if this ended up being one, two, three. Pardon me. If we had the first count that I put up. 
one, two, three, four, five, and then we got an extended fifth. Well, now we're waiting for the, anywhere from the 50 to the 618 on the assumption that we've got a completed five wave, that this is the five up here, and now we're waiting for a two. Well, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not saying that that's not possible. I'm saying that's not what I see or how I would approach trading it until I was proven wrong. I see that as the one, two, this, and again, I'm kind of, you know, leaning a little bit on the oscillators here to tell me, okay, third wave, likely the strongest wave, meaning I've got one more push up for a fifth, but that certainly could still play as the count. Doesn't violate anything. That's certainly a valid count. Two Elliotitians might come up with different conclusions there. That's what I see. Right, so you, same thing. So if that's the case, we haven't gotten to the 50 yet. So what for, for me, trading this as the 1, 2, this was the 6, 1, 8. With this as the completed 5 wave, that's the 50. So, you, you know, <laughs> you end up in the, you know, in, in, the same, in the trade the same way, assuming we get back down here to this level. And again, that's where, you know, the, the decision you make, the count that you're going to go with is going to affect, because remember, this was the 50. Right, it, we we may not come down here as I drew it. You know, with this with this is the two, this this is the fifty. Now we may take off and go up for that five per the count that I had. You know, if we, we may not get here. So that's the risk you take, right? I mean, you miss the trade. You know, again, not the end of the world, right? But that that's how I would count it. You miss the trade. No shortage of other things to trade. Okay, guys, that's it on that one.